Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I repaired and improved an old rusty handsaw. If you like this video please leave a like and consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. But before we, I really get, get started, I got this injury in the bus, not with one of my projects. Someone pushed me to get out of the bus and my arm got caught in the door and I almost broke my wrist. So the first thing I did was take out the blade and then sand as much rust as I could off with some sandpaper. There was still quite a lot of rust left, so I put it in vinegar for about 10 hours. I tried it with a handkerchief, if you have an old unused rag or something that would be better, but I didn't. After that I once again used some sandpaper to get all of the remaining rust off. Now that it was all shiny, I took a photo and then brought it into Inkscape. I used Inkscape, but you can use just about any image editing software. I cropped the image to only have the saw blade visible. Then I basically imported a bunch of images I liked, resized and moved them to fit the blade and printed it out. Alright, um, I also mirrored the photo of the blade to do the other side. It took me a few days to get all the supplies for this part and meanwhile my wrist had uh, mostly healed and I didn't need the bandage anymore. Anyway, for engraving the pictures into the metal I used electrical tape, a precision knife, water to which I added about 3 teaspoons salt, a lot of cotton buds or swaps, swaps and a 12 volt adapter which I soldered to two alligator clips. You don't have to know how to solder, you can also just use a 9 volt battery and connect the negative wire to a black alligator clip and positive to red. First I applied tape to the general area I wanted to engrave. Then taped the paper to the blade. I used the image as a guide to remove all the tape from the places I wanted to engrave. The image wasn't needed anymore, so I removed it. I put one of the cotton buds in the salt water, then connected positive to the blade and negative to the cotton bud. Just keep it going over the places you want to engrave and replace the cotton bud every time it becomes mostly black. You only have one chance, so have patience.
Once I was done, I removed the tape to reveal what I had been working on for the last 4 hours. Since this was my first time using this technique, I thought it turned out surprisingly well. As you can see, I did the three other engravings, and with that done, it's time to start working on the new wooden handle. I took a piece of wood and marked what shape I wanted it to be. I used a jigsaw to cut out the general shape and used a Dremel to, to make it smooth. And lastly I used some sandpaper to make it as smooth as possible. I painted the wood with wood pre preservative, is that what it's called? I don't really know, I forgot, sorry. Now that it's dried, it's time to attach the blade to the handle. First, I made some adjustments to the blade because otherwise it wouldn't fit. I drilled a hole straight through and also made a slot for the blade to fit into. As you can see, I can insert the blade and then lock it in place with a screw. I could be done now, but I didn't think this was good enough, so... I made the screw look older by using the same technique I used for engraving the blade. And then lastly I gave the handle two coats of something which would make it a little shiny.
one eternity later. I think the end result was really worth it. It looks really cool in my opinion. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It would really help grow the channel. Bye everyone.